All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for You You Hawk Show, episode sixty-eight. Almost nice. Yep, that that's right. Yeah, we are mm -hmm. we are one episode away from greatness. Mm -hmm. But also, uh, Yusuke has been kidnapped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, this yeah. This is problematic to yeah. say the least. We have ourselves a new arc of Yu Yu Hakusho, and it seems that they're doing the setup stuff of giving us a lot of disparate pieces mm -hmm. and trying to see how they will all connect eventually. For right. now, we're dealing with something that is very akin to another legendary hmm. arc's beginning of yeah. sorts, in that we have interesting ants that are mysterious and, and out possibly and about. just. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of the demon variety. Right, there's something mm. supernatural about them, and maybe they need to be stopped. Mm -hmm. um, but, yeah, mm. uh, Kuwabara can't use his spirit sword. Oh, my boy. Yep, it's just, you know, one in Side five, effects. Kuwabara. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. right. Um, but, but Yusuke got surprised. He got attacked when the stage was set, conditions were met, and then he couldn't do anything. And now there's yeah. letters. Okay. Yeah, and we'll see basically why they wanted all three of the uh, mm -hmm. dark tournament winners to show up because that right. gives me vibes that they want to talk more than they want to fight. Unless so. it's some kind of revenge plot because there was that whole deal of the other Taguro brother surviving, which yes, you know, which is could a be a thing. completely separate thing or it could be related to this. Who knows? Yeah. I hope he's dead as of what happened, you know, when he encountered that other person. Ah, yes. He's like, <laughs> I survived. I regenerated. Uh-oh. <laughs> and then he just gets pasted again. Just gets one shot. Yeah, yeah that would be pretty great. <laughs> that would be pretty good. So, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. The traps lurking inside Yoji Gen Mansion. Ooh. Oh. We get in a spoopy episode. At 11, come to the old mansion in Rakurakubi Estate. Now they're Yoji all going to be tested. As you like. Right. I bet Karama's at his school. He practically lives there. Right. Pooh, you watch over Yusuke's home for us. <laughs> oh. All right. Kobar and Botan together. Yep. That's right. The blue duo. <laughs> And with you as captain, our team could finally win. As exciting as a biology meet sounds, <laughs> my weekends are full. But you're a prodigy. Top scores every week. Oh my god. Lucky, don't they? Oh my god. I love that he's... You turn this whole club around, we start winning contests, we get more funding, then we get girlfriends! Yes. Yes. But I can't. Oh no you don't. <laughs> You've too long That's to get great. my chance. You join this team or face our wrath. Nerd violence. Nerd <laughs> violence! <laughs> oh, Karama! Do you think you could be a bit more discreet? Hector! Me, I'm having enough trouble without my energy. And yelling helps me keep focused. Yeah! I'm sorry, Suichi. I'm not really mean, just desperate. Please. Yes, well, you did have me scared. So, will you join? Uh -huh. Aha! Yeah. Wow. You could have just come into the hall, you know. Oh. Dork on nerd Works. violence. Yeah. Mm hmm. Is there a reason you've come? I'll say. Yes, it's obviously because of Yusuke. <laughs> Any ideas who could have written it? Smells human. Yeah, that's what's ah. weird. Ah. School kids. We got just four hours to find Hiei. Telling you, they're psychics, man. Too bad Hiei's not here. We could use this Jagan eye to find himself. That's right. <laughs> what's this Jagan eye you Logic guys are talking about? Pray. Yusuke's kidnapped. What is this? April Fool's Day? It's the truth. Very close, actually. Report. Very clever, Ogre. Did you forge that yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Would you listen to me for once? Someone's really kidnapped him, and we still don't know who they are or what they want. Fine, I'll play along. What else? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Death. That's why they cut away. <laughs> Blue Ogre was never heard from again. Doesn't want to be found. Wait, what? 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 <laughs> Because you need both Kuwabara and Kurama to be enough of a date for Botan. I mean, she's into redheads. It's just clear at this point. All the gadgets of the spirit detective. Wow, like a real secret agent. Wait. So which device will find him? What's that gun looking uh, thing? Uh, <laughs> oh, right. A spirit Let's taser. See. Ah, the superbly improved demon compass. A fresh take on a classic style for tracking <laughs> down any demon. Yeah. Can't okay. he simply deceive it by manipulating his energy? Not if he doesn't know it's being used. Uh, not anymore, thanks to this newly installed sample chamber. 
By placing his DNA inside, such as from a strand of hair, we can find him regardless of his energy. Wait, it's too bad I don't carry around a locket of his hair. But Kuwabara does. Ah, oh, how about this psychic spyglass? There we hey! go! Thank you! Brick walls and search the entire city. In less than an hour? Uh, oh. Okay, forget seeing through walls. We'll use the concentration ring to blow them up. <laughs> Instead of finding him, is there an item that will make him find us? Get real! Botan would have mentioned it if we had something like that! We do! <laughs> I never had much of a reason to show Yusuke this darling, but it's really quite neat. Of course. Sort of a dog whistle for apparitions. It shoots out a sound wave only they can hear. See, the Yusuke just needs to carry that around from now on in case he gets attacked. Miles. This is but the most years, it's rather annoying. This is the most ridiculous item corrupt. bullshit. Just, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Never had this item before. He is just like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> right. It works on magnets, uh, it apparently. My brain. Really? I'm not hearing anything but the birds. There. Now we wait for Hiei. <laughs> Hopefully he shows up. Along with ev <laughs> He's dead. He was just spying yes. on them. Yes, I love it. Of creature makes my eardrums bleed. He just wanted to see what they'd come up with to try and find him. Called. Yeah. So, the detective's been ensnared. Wish I'd been around to see it. Must have been too cocky to realize his own weakness. God, yeah. Just tell the kidnappers I turned it down. I'm finished babysitting. You must be curious here. Someone strong enough to overcome Yusuke must surely provide a challenge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine he ate with the dragon of the darkness flame. Nice try, but I no longer care. How could you even think of walking off Hiei if you don't come? Yusuke could be killed. Not my responsibility. Damn. You should have learned by now this is a kill or be killed world. If you're too weak to help yourself, you deserve to fall. I wonder, Hiei, how have you liked being stuck on probation, bolted down to one human city? Oh, hmm. What do you think? Well, if you help bring back Yusuke alive, I'll have Koima cut your sentence to time served. <gasps> You'll be free. You sure you want to do that? There's no other choice. We're almost out of time. Yeah. Make your call, Hiei. Hmm. That's a great deal for Hiei. Yeah. Fighting humans to win my freedom? <laughs> yes. Sounds great. Sounds like a deal. Yeah. Okay. All right. This is one house party we can't be late to. I'm going to kick so much tail. <laughs> and then Quinn was like, you <laughs> promised him what? <laughs> Hiei laughed at Kuwabara's, like, comment as if he's going to be doing anything. He was like, oh, good one. Sure. Oh, okay. Stay here, Botan. Whatever this house is, it's definitely not safe for non-fighters. <laughs> Says the person guess, without his spirit going. energy With right now. And you missing your spirit energy, I'm yeah. the only one who can use the detective tools. She's right. Hmm. Our strength lies in numbers. Karama is actually just the best one of them all. He's just so freaking smart. I don't know. He is Dragon of the Darkness Flame. Could be pretty crazy here. Wait, what? The yep. house of four dimensions. Once entered, this do not ever utter the word hot. Is it some kind of riddle? Nobody say hot. <laughs> Shit. Okay, yeah, this is training. This is this is yeah. this is a scary situation master's training, for sure. Oh, oh. Wait. Hmm? What are you poser bastards up to? How come I can't move? You've entered my territory. Space and time uh, follow different rules. Gotcha. See how I'm stepping on your shadow? Here, it's as binding as a straitjacket. Now try to relax. Our night's oh, about to begin. Oh, fine. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Oh, we should check back on the previous episode and see if he stood in his shadow. Mm-hmm. That's odd. Oh, crazy. It's just a bunch of, like... Okay. Abstract devices and like. What is this place? And that steam! It's like an oven, it's so hot! <laughs> Remember Botan. the word we're not saying. It feels as though we've somehow been transported to a different space. Whoa. All right. Space time. Welcome to the house, everyone. I'm so glad you made it. Okay. Kaito, where have you gotten your information? And why have you kidnapped Yusuke? <laughs> Why are your legs so short? It's a real grip your seat mystery, isn't it? 
I hear your team won something called the Dark Tournament, and I hear that's quite a feat. My congratulations. I've learned that I have a talent, too. And being such great champions as you are, I was hoping I could test them out on you. Okay, this is ridiculous. Hmm. We've been through stuff you couldn't even dream about. I'll take him. <laughs> now. You'll be sorry. I doubt that. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, How the heck did he just do that? Energy came right out of nowhere. It looked weird. As you see, this is a very special room where brute strength cannot exist. Oh. Only your words have power here. Just Whoa. make sure you follow my one posted rule. What Don't say the word hot. He must mean the note on the door. As a child, playing pretend I would make my own world with my own rules. But yeah. I I cool. For real. Growing up as a bookworm, I guess it was inevitable what I would decide to rule out. Violence. Huh. In the world of fighting, your skills let you bully anybody you want. But in my territory, you're just a tiny, swordless man. Botan's gonna kick his ass. No three-letter word can rule my fate. Hot. Oh. Oh. Fight it here. Shit. Try. Wait. I hmm. told him not to doubt me. So That's all his spirit energy. Taboo word, your soul becomes part of my territory. Now why was that the taboo word, I wonder? Just Wait, arbitrary? He's ice cold. Oh, dear. It's a kick, your lifestyle. The secrets, dueling opponents with special powers. I only started last month, but I've worked hard. Dang. My first challenge was mm. learning how to control my power. Yeah, he got these powers from somebody. So far, I've gotten to a 10 meter radius around me. As long as I concentrate, everything inside it has to follow the rules I've set. Imagination turned to physical law. So, by that logic, if we incapacitate you, the rules will cease and he, a soul, will return to his body. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe, yeah. yeah. No one's you wouldn't know. Me yet, so it hasn't come up. Will you challenge me or go home? Wait, you're forgetting the third option. Huh? Really? I'm mm. drawing a blank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We forget about EA for now and move on. That's my vote. Uh, I mean, I never expected to hear you know, you cool Bara. He is sure. A it's his own code. Yeah. Right? You had to bribe him to help you. Good point. He said weak men deserve to fall. Then he turns around and says the wrong thing on purpose just to be cool. So, yeah. For after we're through, that'll teach him a lesson. Shit. You have a brain after all. Yeah. But you can't get through a doorway. If you don't have the proper key. Cool, let's get Matrixy up in here. You mean your messy's in there? Maybe. He might be. <laughs> the battle of the hairstyles. All right, Mr. Hairspray, hand over the key while I'm asking you nicely. Huh. <laughs> All right, why don't you come knock me out and take it, man? Or did you lose your strength, too? You... Little. That face. Ow! Yeah. Ooh. You gotta get a better memory. We're still inside of Kaito's territory. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We doesn't like violence. We gotta be gentle with each other, okay? Hug it out. <laughs> How about I gently shove my foot down your throat? <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. And so the trap has been laid. Okay. To get the key and go deeper hmm. within the house. To rescue Hiei's captured soul. <laughs> and yeah. to free Yusuke, who is bound by his own shadow, Kurama must answer his brilliant schoolmate's challenge and take part in a mysterious battle of words. I'm... What exactly does that mean? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, that's a good point. What power teenagers have in mind? Yeah. What other oddities await our team? In the house of four dimensions. Dun dun dun. Yeah. So, what I'm waiting for is for Botan to be like, words you say. And then she starts like flirting with them or something. Boys! Like, hey, boys. And then they reveal their incel. Like, right, right, right. Like, <laughs> yeah. No. Silence, wench. 
I do not wish to be horny. <laughs> Don't you though? <laughs> oh, All right. Domain. Uh, domain power. expansion. Ah, yes, but yes. domain uh, introspection. Indeed. Yeah. Yes, yes, and and the the whole thing of like the hey, if you had someone that was a nerd with those kinds of powers, what would be one of the first things they do? Make it so they can't be beat up. That makes a lot of sense, right? Now, mm -hmm. there is that part of me that's like, oh man, this kid would have cleaned out the dark tournament. He would have just stood in the center of the stand, you know, of the stage. He was probably about, you know, 20 meters in diameter, right? You know? So, uh, and then and then it's just no one can do any violence to him, and then he controls the whole area. But, that's, you know, that is this. Well, well that's the thing. That is is that then, he, this is now. Well, that's the thing, though, is that he's not he hasn't been around that long he right. just got his powers and yep. he just started learning how to do it on this level here exactly so what he's doing is also something that's not fully clear as to whether or not he's actually really fully capable of controlling all aspects of things that go beyond that rule so right. once he basically chooses a rule does he limit every other aspect of his control of this area or this is the thing that's really important here is his team actually contributing their own aspects of things that are overlapping? Meaning we have a Venn diagram of territory, mm -hmm. so the house is maybe one of their territories as well. Sure. And they're specifically having someone else that's like maintaining the the localized space things with the doors, you know? Right. Like like the door key thing very much seems like another you know, condition, territory defined mm -hmm. rule that has nothing to do with his. Right. So I think it's more just that it's that's his rule, but mm -hmm. they have no reason to talk about what the others are. Yeah, because because why, right? Because why? Yeah, yep. yeah. But uh, one of the things that I do like is that it, from what we've seen so far, the rules apply to them as well, right? Yeah. So like it wasn't something where it's like you can't do violence against us and then they beat up Kuabara like willy nilly. No, 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 no. No, no violence it's, can no. be here. Yeah, exactly. He he head pats Kuabara right, and it's like, oh, you bastard, right? Um, it's also going to be interesting to see if they go into the idea of force being exhibited beyond a specific measure or pain, because oh, sure. if you go by the idea of violence, violence is somehow sometimes intended versus That's true. whether or not it's actually intentional. Or is it like the Dune force fields kind of a thing? Where we it's have to like, move slowly enough. That, right. It Like you could slowly strangle somebody, you know, or like something. Right. Or if it's the idea of pressure, like the idea of physical contact with something moving beyond sure. a specific kind of uh, pressure. Mm -hmm. That means that squeezing is off the table. That right. means that, you know, twisting or pulling and pushing on certain levels is yeah. off the table. Mm -hmm. It might be something on that physical level where you could theoretically then figure out a way to walk up, take someone's mouth, slowly open it, put one of your seeds in there, <laughs> and be like, and you're fucked, you know? Right, right. Or, or just like, try and lift the key out of the pocket when they're not looking, right? Because you could theoretically get up in their business and it's not violence, right? So that this is something where, yeah, I know it's set up to be like Karama's like chance to do mind games and words mm -hmm. and things like that. And I think that'll be really cool. But what I'm what I'm hoping is mm -hmm. that Botan will be like, because Kuabara mentioned at the beginning, you don't have any powers. It might not be a good idea for you to come in here. And then, oh, hey, we're put into this situation where they can't use their powers, right? So in some ways, Kuobara and Botan might be the most useful. Mm -hmm. yep. But we'll see. Right, in, they're in all some, on an equal playing field. Basically. In some ways, they have set up this, this unique dynamic, though, where by having them be members of the school, what mm -hmm. I think they're trying to say is that these characters existed in the world before this, you know, dark tournament thing and uh -huh. everything like that, and they were just regular students. Yep. But not only that, were they there... These powers that they've come across here were not given to them randomly. This is yeah. something that is coming about because of some macro change in the story. Yep. It's additional are, mystery, yeah. right? And they are the they are the um, they are the case study for which our main characters will interact with that change, whatever that mm -hmm. tends to be. Yep. I could totally see it being a thing of where the 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 demon portal or what have you has already been like made on some level, uh -huh. and this is something where the powers of you know otherworldly spiritual beings or what have you are coming through and manifesting in humans or there's something else not going on here they've got themselves right. a patron they've been trained by genkai there's you know there's all kinds of things that they could be prepping here i love the idea still personally that these are characters trained by genkai 
the way that they made sure that there's no actual way that any harm could come to them or to, you know, Yusuke's team is that one of them has a no violence rule, which means right. that this is still a thing that could be just a and, perfect training scenario. And Genkai was not asked to be brought here. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why was Genkai not asked to be brought here? Wasn't she a part of the team? Right. Like, so. like this seems super sus to me. It seems way more like a fun way for Tagashi to introduce whatever the next evolution of spirit energy will be in this arc through characters that we don't care about yet, but we need to care about them before we bring them, you know, more and more right. into the story. So mm -hmm. therefore, no, we're not going to use them as like fodder enemies to build up the bad guy. No, we're doing this as a way to prep our heroes for the next stage of yeah, things. Yeah, it's a form of it's a form of artistic experimentation in my mind, right? Yeah. Because because Tagashi did the dark tournament, right? Mm -hmm. And and while there was like strategy and and different things and techniques that like counterplayed off of each other. Right. There, less team play for it, one. Less team play, yeah. Mm -hmm. And and it was fairly straightforward still how it ended up resolving for the most part, right? A lot of the times. Yeah, yeah. unless there was some like random magic item that would come up or something like that, right? It, you know, it it was it was fairly straightforward. Yeah, Karama's fights were probably the least straightforward of all of them. Yeah. Yeah. Which is probably cool that they're using then Kurama for this less straightforward mm -hmm. type of engagement to be the right. front runner. But in the same way that like I, I feel like the fact that the art style for the house is very different with mm -hmm. it being all these like weird angles and stuff, like it's it's very much Tagashi like kind of telling the audience of like I'm going into wacky territory where I'm doing things a bit different. Mm -hmm. So, you know, put put aside what you used to know about Yu Hakusho and like how things how battles tended to go and things like that. Because this is gonna be different. Mm -hmm. But um yeah. yeah i'm excited to see how it goes because i feel like i feel like tagashi is a his his creativity he's a is puzzle where master. he really sh shines yeah, yeah he's a puzzle he, master he, he's, he's a dungeon master a puzzle master yep. that loves to draw as well right. and write characters so so in some ways them being thrown into a very typical tabletop rpg kind of one shot scenario right feels yes it feels very, very one shot yeah. feels very fun for mm -hmm. our characters to deal with now unfortunately he is a you know, arrogant dumbass. So, you know, while he has, I would say, very high intelligence, mm -hmm. sometimes his wisdom scores and his charisma score being so low mm -hmm. negatively affects him here. Right. And the thing is, is that I I totally get where he is coming from, though, because mm -hmm. uh, I am very much the type of like, well, we don't have to play. Like, mm -hmm. like what happens, right? If, okay, they're here, and I guess they need to save Yusuke, right? So they need to progress. But like... This feels like the epitome of the person that was maybe bullied and now is in the position to be the bully, right? But then they do it in a way that they can sort of, I don't know, justify it. There's no violence, whatever. That's, yeah, yeah. you know, and then and then it's just, okay, but like, this is just stroking your ego. So what if we just don't, right? Like, you well, don't right, directly but that's the have thing, control is that over If the us. DM basically says that the one shot is going to be a puzzle house. Exactly. Don't argue with the DM and say, I don't want to play in the puzzle house. Like, yep. you signed up for this one shot. Like. Right, like, right. This is what's going to no, happen. No, yeah, no, exactly. Don't that's, try and break the house. No, like, yeah, that's the kind of vibe when it's the uh, the DM gets the idea of like I'm going to do a puzzle house, and the players are like, "No, we did not want to do that." <laughs> well, that's that's also part of it is that it's not really about what the players want. It's the we're going to introduce a new stage of the story, so we're going to bring the main character over there. So you must go into the thing here, and right. then sorry guys, it's going to be a puzzle house. It's Trust me, this is the best way I'm going to explain what's going to happen next. So therefore, I know some of you are characters that don't do puzzles. Like, okay, I'm going to go get pizza and then say right, the word right. and guys learn from my mistake. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It's actually no, that, that's I, totally what he did. It's totally there. what he is. If he is character, like, hey, if this he is, is a character with a player, the mm -hmm. player was like, nah, fuck this. You guys have got this. Right. And I'll, says the thing so that they can tell that, yes, the, right. the reason why you don't break the rules is because you right know, you, you test happens. out the one thing that gives your team some you know information and then there you go right but also i love the the kuwabara punching trying to punch the person yeah. after he's sword literally literally broke yeah it's like i that that i've seen that happen in dnd &D, where it's like yeah what do you what did you think was gonna happen like, like did you did you like 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 you have a goldfish like kind of setup here where you right. just forgot like, what happened two minutes ago. There was a there was a point, and I'll keep this very very short. But uh -huh. there was a point where the part my party was locked in a dungeon, right? Okay. And so the the monk that was a uh, cat person tried to pick the locks with the, like lock picks and stuff. Uh -huh. And the lock picks disintegrated because there was a trap on the lock. 
So then they got the idea of, I'll try and use my claws to pick the lock. <laughs> Guess what happened? <laughs> what, Jacob? Yeah. I have no idea. Their what hand disintegrated, right? And it's like, hmm, because that's, you know, that's what happened. So Kuobara being like, I'm going to punch you after literally all of the rules right, were explained. Because what, what he know. thought was, because he, he didn't hear the 10 yard thing. Right. Or the 10 meters thing. Yeah, he thing. figured like it's just against this guy, maybe. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. To, to give Kuobara the benefit Kuwabara, of the doubt. I, I bless your heart, but 10 meters is actually a decent distance of radius. So, right. Like, so like, of course he breaks his hand. He was only probably about 20 feet away yeah. from the guy. So, mm -hmm. yep. And also, this is another thing that's rather wacky here. The fact that this is a four-dimensional space house, meaning that when they shift to different rooms, they shift times, potentially. Mm -hmm. There's the idea that Yusuke could be like in this house for a very long time looking for That's them. That's true. Mm -hmm. But also the idea that when um, you think about meters and distance in that regard, okay, yeah. it's potentially irrelevant. Uh, except, oh, if they can control. Well, no, like, once you're outside the room, uh, right? Meaning that it's an infinite yeah. space in between rooms, right? So the other thing that that would come to mind, like if I was in a situation like this, is or, or like playing a D and D campaign where it's in something like this is mm -hmm. okay. It's fourth, fourth dimensional house, whatever and stuff. Does that mean that the time we spend in this room doesn't necessarily matter because it'll, you know, it's, it's a separate timeline hey, or, hey, or hey. something like that. Then I would go for the no violence. You say, cool. I will break your spirit and try and annoy them until like, like do the Brooklyn nine, nine thing of the, you know, and, and just do that until so we're what, like, oh so, God, so is... when, when you were a kid, mm -hmm. what kind of imaginary games did you play where there were power systems that you basically designed specifically so that you could have an alternate rule set of engagement with your like fellow kids? I mean, know? I don't think I really thought about it too, like that. No, but didn't you play like imaginary kind of worlds and games and things like that? Sure. Yeah. But then it was like, it was very much just either derivative or directly just being, you know, like, like we're playing as X-Men or something playing like that. Playing with lightsabers. You know? Yeah, something. we're playing with lightsabers, that kind of thing. Sure, yeah. okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, one, one of the things that I remember we did a lot of was we played with lightsabers, and mm -hmm. there was this idea that um, you had to hit them on the torso somewhere, but you oh. can hit them in the head. That whole thing of like, oh, you hit, you hit my leg, so I'll just hop on one leg now, and it's like, but we eventually ended up doing a thing where we were like, no, 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 we're, we're fast enough that it doesn't count unless you literally hit them in the torso. So that was basically the, oh, we, uh, the other stuff doesn't count because we're not about trying to hurt the other people here. Oh, whack the fingers so they drop the Because that was the thing, thing is that we would create this meta where the best yeah. thing to do was not to actually hit them in the torso because that'd be hard is you hit them in the fingers that's holding their lightsaber, and then they drop the lightsaber, and then it's easy, and yep. you go for the torso. That's right. And so it they... also instills a sense of fear in the, in you know, since, you know, we're all kids and stuff of like, oh, that hurt. I don't want to fight that person. I don't want to do this anymore. Or I hesitate when I fight that person. Right. So like, they Arr. created a rule system specifically around me who would hit the fingers, and that's a thing that I very much see this as, is that they see people who are very strong but they don't realize that one of the things that made them so terrifying in the dark tournament was that they would have these really clever ways of getting around situations, right. which is why I, I like that he's specifically calling out Soichi or Kurama mm -hmm. to be like, okay, you'll be the one that I'll come up against because, I mean, Kurama never really, really showed, I would say, the the, the full extent of his 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 genius in that right. regard theoretically all karama needs to do is there. shake his hand and then suddenly there's a seed in you you know like and and it's something where because because um uh genkai isn't here wasn't like mentioned mm -hmm. that i could they see might it think she's dead they might think she's dead that they might it, not have actually paid too close attention to the dark tournament yeah, the and so they that, don't know she was there. It was just there was a mysterious person there. Or the person that told them about the dark tournament and all that is operating on limited info. Sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. But yeah, yeah, I, I am going on the Genkai told them about this. That's why that's that, why this is happening. It would feel very Genkai to do something like that, given the things that they're doing asshole here. Asshole teacher kind of thing. Well, yeah, asshole teacher and like the, okay, yes, you're very strong, but like 
theoretically, you know, like someone could be like me and have a billion techniques where, you know, yep. you, you can't do too much against them. What do you do in that situation where suddenly he, even though you've absorbed the dragon of the darkness flame, you know, right. like, like what happens if that strength isn't enough? Right. And then also, this is the part that's really exciting for me is what happens if our boys get taught this technique? What types of things do they have as parts of their 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 domains, their territory, you know? Well, we know that the territory for Kuwabara would start with this pompadour. Mm. I think that's... You must have a very audacious hairstyle, otherwise <laughs> you must kneel constantly mm, to the yes. one that does. No, no, Kuwabara would enforce rules of, like... Of like bravery and manliness and like chivalry and stuff. So it's sexist, basically, that if you don't have a dick, you can't. Oh my fight. god. <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, I was gonna say that like no underhanded tactics or anything uh, like that. Ah, like, okay. Like, you have to like fight them head on. You so know? before the fight, you have to spend a minute describing all the techniques you have exactly. under your arsenal. And if you yes. don't do it within a minute, you're incapable of fighting. Yep, and you can't run away like you. All yeah, movement must, has to be closer to the opponent. You must be opponent. within, you know, 50 feet or, you know, 10 right, meters right. of mm -hmm. the opponent at all times. Yep, yep. So no ranged bullshit kiting nonsense. <laughs> exactly, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. That totally sounds like something you would do. Yep. You'd call then, it, like, honored duel. Basically. Between but, fighters. Yeah, so so what kind of stuff do you think Karama's going to do here to beat this guy? Because I feel like the natural thing to have happen is... For one of the characters here, whether Kurama or Botan, to basically uh, call them out on their on their behavior of just being like, "What? What? You think you think this makes you like cooler? Like, what? What are you after here? Right? Like, well, I think the I think the best way really is to start talking with regards to um, seeking questions and just get them talking. Sure. Because really, the most interesting thing about this is the fact that their powers work. So just right. asking questions about like, so who told you about us? And then just start getting the villain to monologue. And yeah, exposit. that's true. Yeah. And and uh, and just learn more. Given given what they've been doing here, like even Kuwabara brought it up, but like they're ego tripping, right? So I'm well, sure they're not just ego tripping because they've never actually tested the powers on this scale, so they don't know really. Sure. How good they are. Right, but like, I feel like they will very much enjoy the sound of their own voice and it could be very easy to just get them to like you know you 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 pay them compliments seem super impressed and everything and then they just go on and on and on and then you figure out what's up mm -hmm. but, yeah. yeah yeah that's how but yeah y'all thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion if you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now though go check out the link in the description below for our patreon you can get an early access there you can watch full length timer reactions there and all this comes with discord access you can chat with us in the community there about this show about anime in general and also be sure to check out our twitch channel we stream every weekday the info's in the description yeah so if any of that interests you we'll see you there but until then we're semblance of sanity i'm caleb i'm jacob and we'll see you all next time, time.